focus, the main or central point of something, especially of attention or interest. Focus can take you from the deep valleys to the top of the mountain. It is focus that allowed a five foot four tall man into the NBA. It was focus that allowed a man living on the street to raise up and become a billionaire. Focus took an idea from someone's head to the moon. It is focus that has won wars and lack of it that has lost them. It is focus that separates our ideas and dreams from a materialistic reality. Focus is everything in between. It's the stuff that gets you there. We all know what focus is, but do you know what your focus is? What is your central point? If you know what it is, then you can achieve a certain level of focus, but you don't want to focus on bad things. We can all get dragged into thoughts and feelings of negative things and allow this to occupy our mind. Our focus then becomes negative. We must focus on what is meaningful to us. As humans, we struggle to stay focused on our goals. Staying focused leads to success, but we are often distracted by negative thoughts and emotions. We remain focused, but focused onto bad things. We wake up and on the way to work, somebody jumps in front of you in a queue. Rude, but not the end of the world. But for some reason, we often struggle to let this go. We then focus on negative thoughts and processes. We are focusing so much that we are actively seeking out negative behavior. Somebody doesn't thank you for opening a door. You focus on it. Then the boss doesn't thank you for handing work in early or going out of your way to help the business and you focus on it. It starts raining, you focus on it. You get home, you're wet, you're tired, you're pissed off. You carry the stench of negativity like a rain cloud over your head. You become what you focus on and when you can't distinguish what you should or shouldn't be focused on, you end up in a negative loop of focus. One bad thing leads to another and to another and to another until you become negative. Sleep is a great way to break the cycle, but sometimes it continues the next day. You can't let go. One simple act leads to ruining your day or your week, and it can lead to ruining your year. A whole year of negative focus. Sometimes we just need to let things go. We need to see it in a positive light. The guy pushes in front of you. Maybe he's in a rush. Maybe he does think he's more important than you. Whatever it is, let it go and smile. You don't want to attach your thoughts and focus to negative things. Now the day goes ahead with an open mind. Now you're smiling. The person you open the door for smiles back. You're now happy. You go to work in a good mood. You gleefully hand in your work to your boss with enthusiasm. He notices that you're excited about the work you have done for him. He praises you. It rains on the way home. With positive focus, you kick and dance in the puddles. You arrive home happy, with a happy mind, focusing on positivity and gratefulness for your life. If you are focused on your dreams and ambitions every day, you stay on track you are building a stronger defense against negative thoughts. You buy into the idea more and more. Focus is a special thing. Focusing on your goal, your idea, leads to more thoughts, more ideas, and ultimately more progress. Your goal is to aim for being in the zone. When playing basketball, it feels like the hoop is as big as a swimming pool. Any way you throw that ball up, it's going in. It ain't even touching the rim. That's being in the zone. Each day you are trying to peak at being in the zone. 
This is the point where all the noise around you becomes a dull hum and visuals become a blur apart from the task in hand. Apart from the task in hand. Things will come along and disturb you. It is inevitable. But if you are aiming for this point, on average, you will have a decent level of focus. Spread it over time and you have a recipe for success. When people come along and knock you off your train of thought, don't let it ruin your day or destroy your focus. Once the time of distraction has passed, realign yourself with your focus once again, striving to be in the zone of ultimate focus. We've all been there, head down, getting on with our work, feeling unstoppable. When that annoying person comes up to you and asks you the most trivial of questions or converses on something so unimportant or irrelevant to what you are doing that it throws your attention off what you were doing. After they leave you, you feel completely knocked off the path and struggle for the rest of the day trying to get back on track. We can even go home and sleep of thoughts of this person ruining our day. But you have a decision to attempt to right this wrong, to overcome this obstacle. I would say create an environment where you can avoid such things happening, but usually something else will find you and it will try to pull you from your focus. It's a constant push and pull. Just try and be the winner most of the time, as this is a long distance thing, not a sprint. It's about forward thinking. It's okay to reminisce, but focusing on the past can keep you there, not moving forward, warped in problems of old. Focus on what is in front of you, not what is coming and gone. Focus on the now, not the past. Focus on your aspirations, not your achievements. Focus on moving forward, not wandering in the past. Focus forward. Staying focused can be a struggle. You are not convincing your body to focus, you are convincing your mind. You are attempting to rewire your thoughts and feelings to focus on what you think will positively impact what you are doing or wanting to achieve. It doesn't have to be a one-person battle though. Surround yourself with like-minded people that can help direct your focus in the right direction. Similarly, some people can distract you, so pick your inner circle wisely. A focused person can achieve everything they wish. They can achieve all their goals, succeed at all their tasks, If you can maintain ultimate focus, literally anything is achievable. Anything. That's what top achievers are. Ultimately focused. That's what leads to some of the greatest anomalies in sport and business. That is why somebody who is five foot four can get into the NBA. That's why somebody who is living on the street can become a billionaire. With ultimate focus gives you ultimate possibilities. Only a few can get close to ultimate focus. Focus, the main or central point of something, especially of attention or interest. Focus can take you from the deep valleys to the top of the mountain. Focus took an idea from someone's head to the moon. It is focus that has won wars and lack of it that has lost them. It is focus that separates our ideas and dreams from a materialistic reality. That's why we only have a few anomalies. Be the few. 
be the few. You can get a free audiobook from audible.com with the link in the description and learn on the go with books like Fluent in Three Months by Benny Lewis or the audio version of your SAT study books and many others.